Hello all, Seriously is here, back to our back-to-back -back weekend missions, and first things first, we're done unlocking the decals. We've got all three of those new decals unlocked, and we have some fireworks. We're going to be unlocking Titan fireworks is what we're working on now. They summon a titanic sandworm out of fireworks in different colors, I suppose. So we'll have to see how those look when they come out. We can buy a th apparently up to a thousand units of each for 60 quicksilver apiece. I don't know if there's a cap on that. That's interesting. Uh, the weekend mission, though, is Unearthed Ancient Bones, and it looks like it just switched over just this second. We're going to get different rewards. A mineral compressor. We'll take it. Let's go. Uh, yeah, we, we, we're, we're not doing great on slots, but we have 12 slots. Gotta take care of these saves. I've been having too much fun playing my new save. Haven't been on the old saves in a bit, except for the weekend missions. Uh, mainly because most of those old saves have all of their frigate fleets fully complete too, so there's almost nothing to really work on on those saves. Alright, where are we headed in this solar system? Over to that moon. Uh, is it a moon? Let's get out of these asteroids. It says planet, but if I hit scan, I'm going to hit that planet. Uh, let's hit first person mode. There we go. Unknown moon, icebound moon, aggressive sentinels. Uh oh. Rut row. At least it's a moon. We won't have jagged hills. The bones should be pretty close together because everything is closer together on the moon. It's a smaller surface area. Uh, let's see where it's sending us. It might be a landing pad. No, it's just a waypoint marker. Alright, I don't need to land there. There's somewhere we can land. Maybe. No, that's also just a waypoint marker. Maybe crash ship was here? I don't know. It doesn't matter. We'll land. We need to start getting bones scanned for. We can fly to each site. We're going to. It's aggressive sentinels. Okay. It wants to highlight those ones. Looks like there's a couple there, that's great. Uh, we will target that one, there's at least one more over there. Uh, 40 seconds... Where was the other one? 5 seconds, yeah. That's why we're going to dig underground for these. Uh, why can't we get in there? over there and we have another one marked already still good just double check there's none here yeah it would have uh, target sweeped us to the closer one in theory uh, let's just double check yeah that one right there not the one directly behind us the one to the right first to the right Oh, hey, look at that crash freighter sticking up out of the cold fog. Oh, I don't know what you call it, clouds, ice clouds. Looks really cool. Whoops. I just wanted to turn the size out and not turn my flashlight off, off and on.
Too weak for estimate? Well, we have a site to go to, fortunately. Big field of, it looked like cadmium back there. Might, no, it can't be phosphorus on a coal planet. Almost done. Uh, just two more after this guy. And 700 away. We will mark it as well, unless there's a second one on our radar. Nah, it doesn't look like it, but it looks like there's two bones there anyway. Uh, we can land here and probably not be in the way, maybe. Oh yeah, lots of bones here. That one's just floating in the air in that cave. Uh, next. There we go. Perform a scan. Let's hop in the ship. The scanner just recovers faster. We might have to go to another planet. Doesn't look like it though. Fourteen seconds away on this planet in a ship though. That's pretty far. That would have been quite the trek on foot. entity. Here's your skeletal fragments to scan. And we're done. Pretty simple. Lots of great bone clusters on this moon. And it said aggressive sentinels, but we didn't check the level. It might be sparse aggressive sentinels, which means you hardly ever see them. And or we just got very lucky. Probably that one. We'll see how easy we have it on permadeath, where it matters. <laughs> we can just run away. It doesn't really matter if we get Sentinel attention or not, but it just makes things go a bit more smoothly when you don't. That was super duper fast. I think that might be the fastest I've ever collected 12 bones. What was that? Just four sites. Yeah. And we didn't even need the full four sites, because there was four at that last site. All right, Quicksilver, Mineral Compressor. It was five seconds ago. Yeah, that's correct. Save point, Permadeath. Sounds like the computer's working overdrive today. The heat wave seems to have passed, but uh, the computer... Well, it hasn't been used in a few days. Maybe it got dusty. <laughs> yeah, it's been really hard to play the computer during the heat wave. Ugh. Ugh. I wouldn't even really call it a heat wave. It's just hot, and uh, I live in like a river valley, so it gets uh, like a river basin. It gets sort of damp and <laughs> humid. Oops, no. Initialize mission. Start mission. Yeah, it's really the humidity that kills. And my tiny little air conditioner basically only can do my single room, so. And it cannot handle the computers running at the same time, so I can't even play when I'm not recording. And it's way too loud to leave on while recording. I 
don't think we're pointed at our target, but we are targeted at the moon, so we can just actually scan it. Tropical planet over there. Orange sky, though. No thank you. No thank you. Alright, let's just target our marker. It was good luck last time. Ah, oh, no, that's the wrong button. I just wanted to do that. Thank you. Thank you. So our target marker does have a landing site. Let's hit it up. Give it a try. Not that we need it. We've got plenty of launch fuel. It's just pugnium for this thing. Too weak for estimate. All right, let's get out of here. We got a storm anyway. We will go, let's say, due north. Hit the scan button. We don't want uh, tornadoes either, right? So. What's that? What's this? Uh, abandoned building? It won't have a landing pad. I can't believe we aren't seeing anything else here. Let's just land at the, our earliest opportunity here. Oh, there's something. And the storm's clearing, we'll go over to that. I'll give time for the storm to actually clear. Even if there's no landing pad here, we will land at this. Looks like a monolith or a rune. No, no, it's just a small uh, waypoint. Need that storm to end. Oh, it's a terminal. Still no beacons here, though, huh? Okay. All right, bones, I mean. All right, this is a bad ley line for bones. Let's go uh, west a bit, I guess. I turned left. We were pointed north. That should be west-ish. All right, anything on the scanner over here to the west? No? Let's just land here, open field. There we go. 400 there. Oh, 400 there. And 400 there. Well, let's mark that one, and we'll go to the one that's first to the left first. Because that marker is going to disappear. Oh, uh, let's check our inventory. We've got starship inventory. Yeah, we got 12 slots. Easy. Only one bone here. Interesting. Yeah, it's telling us to go to the one we marked anyway. Let's check. Oh, well. We'll check from there. Oh, uh, yeah, I think... I think it's looking like we did just get lucky last time. We've got one bone and two bones here. Better quality bones so far, though. We only got one purple bone the whole time last time. Okay, 900 away. We should have time to get there. We'll just fly straight there. Uh, where? We did finish scanning for them, right? That's 942 away. Okay, are any of them marked? Why are none of them marked? Okay, we're just gonna have to target mark one of these things. That's 700 away, we'll go to that one first. We should be able to see the 900 one from there. Very weird that it wouldn't show up. Oh, look at them all though. That's better. And quality. Quantity and quality. That's nice. Wow, you don't usually get a bunch of purple and gold bones at one site. Maybe one or two, but...
Let me out of here, please. I need to see where these phones are. Tell me to go over there, and it is actually marked this time. Okay, that's 400 away. You know, there's so many here. Let's land at this one, and then we'll do our double marking. How many do we need? We need four. Let's just land at that one. There might be four bones there. If I could get out past all of those ghost bone. Oh, we're gonna run out of jet back here. There we go. This one has stayed marked. It has. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, we got four bones here. Perfect. Five bones, actually. But that's all we need. We have scanned. And we located the guy. On planet. Uh, yeah, we're still pretty far away. Another Corvax research entity this time, though. There's your intriguing bone sample. And all done. And there, now that I've done both saves, now I can say it without being it uh, jinxing me. Uh, we didn't see a single sentinel the whole time. Let's uh, just go to our discoveries. Click on this lost moon of Poosh here and threatening. It doesn't say anything about the quantity level though. Hmm. Actually, it doesn't even say red there. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, they're aggressive. Okay. I just didn't see a single one. Not a single one. It worried me for a second when we scanned it on the first save, but... The sentinels were as sparse as the bones were plentiful, so very easy weekend mission this time. Maybe a bit of extra spice in dodging sentinels, but they don't seem to be very common. You should be able to get away from them on foot if they're that sparse. Normally the problem running away on foot is that uh, you just run into a new batch somewhere along the way and then you, uh, well, you never lose heat. All right, cool. Mission complete, both saves, done for another week. Until next week, everybody, have a good time.